I am here with Greg, who I've seen a million times at G-Scoop. But first of all, happy new king. Is that what we say? I think so. Um, okay. Yeah, bit of, bit of an occasion back home. We missed it to be here at the wonderful D-Scoop in oh, St. Really? Louis. Yeah. Uh, I was, you know, it rained. It did. Well, it was England. Of course it, it rained. And it will continue to yeah, rain. Well, it looked pretty cool on TV. So I guess God saved the king. Yes. Thank you okay. Shout out to Charles out there. <laughs> um, okay. In Figo. What does it do? How does it help printers grow? So we're a web to print platform working in a general commercial, uh, labels, packaging, flexible space. Um, we help customers and, and print companies and brands add value to their organization. The printed item is obviously the output, but we need to help enable the input side of things. We need to make sure that both our customers and their customers are using the technology to an efficient manner. Um, and making the the, uh, the integration from the web print platform into their production environment as seamless as possible. Yeah. We're massive advocates of the integration piece, making sure that efficiency is captured throughout that journey. And that's, that's something that we've always been uh, at the forefront of our thoughts. Um, but also one of our key strengths is building and delivering websites that both the brands and the, the printers, but also their consumers are willing and, and easily utilizing. Yeah. Uh, Please. No, I was going to say one of the one of the things I always think of when I think of Infigo is personalization. So, and you were really at the forefront of that. I remember the first time I saw it. It might have even been at a Pack Expo, it was, yeah. right? And um, no, Interpack, Interpack, Interpack no, yeah. in the HP booth. And I walked over, and I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand for like 20 minutes. Now I understand. But you have really been there. So, yeah. how have you seen that change over the years? And and why is it so super important now? So the personalization aspect is quite interesting because it, it feels like we've almost gone a, a full three. 60 where there was a big boom about it to start with people then kind of tailored it back but then realized the importance and the power of that personalization piece so we we've made sure that our technology continues to grow in that space um, to really help drive drive that forward because we all on we all know you see your your name your face your yeah. content on something you want to re-engage with yeah. that piece whether it's a direct mail piece whether it's the packaging that we saw at interpack whether it's a pouch it could be any any application but the power of that personalization within that document or that product that's that's where the invaluable right. element comes yeah. into it for us and i think one of the things that's really changed since we started talking about this is the amount of products you can now personalize yeah. i mean like you said we were looking at making some hot hot sauce labels yeah. and a and a little pouch and look at your name on the postcard but it's gone crazy yeah, we we if, if we look at our customers product range their catalogs that they're now offering we go from postcards to suitcases to uh, hot sauce bottles to packaging to pouches to cartons and the, I think really the the world is your oyster in that regard yeah. in, in our in our software as long as we can define a canvas size it doesn't matter what the output is as long as you can say what the the actual output looks like you're, you're good to go. And we see some really weird and wonderful HP bringers into a lot of opportunities with brands where they want to do something slightly crazy. Uh, we love love that side of things. We've delivered some crazy projects over the years because we like seeing how different applications of web to print can actually thrive. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's, it has really changed that, yeah. that regard. I mean, you guys are fantastic. I got to get in on those uh, customized suitcases, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, I've seen you at a million D scoops. Why do you support this event? Why do you support this community? I mean, you're out there. Everybody knows who you are now, yeah. uh, pretty much, but you still are here. Yeah, so we, Douglas and I first came over to d -Scoop X in Washington, 2015. That was our first trip to the United States to represent in Figo. During the snowstorm. During the snowstorm, the famous one there. And it's, it's, it's crazy because that setup then, we literally had a, a, a table, tabletop, both of us on our laptops, we had nothing. We've now got a 20 by 20 booth with a 30 foot tower that's spinning around and we, we've seen our growth in, in the American market space has been absolutely in line with our communication, our, our participation, sorry, with D-Scoop. The, the brands and the, the PSPs that we work with within the community have helped us grow. And there's no doubt that it's this community that has really helped us thrive in, in this market. Um, it's just the collaboration piece for us is the biggest thing. We've, I've got 15 customers that have all been by the booth today, existing users that want to talk to each other because they all do something slightly differently. And I think my number one uh, takeaway for, for anyone, we had a, another customer, that's their first D-Scoop, and I said, what should we do? And we said, make sure you network. Utilize this amazing network of people that we've got within this environment today, and, and yesterday, and tomorrow, and the next day. But don't think that it's just these four days at the event. It was like the guy said in the morning session this morning, it's not just what you're here in person, it's utilizing that network of people 
365 days of the year. And I think that is the biggest thing, is the collaboration piece. Yeah. And, and that's, yeah, that, that's where we have then thrived off the back of, because it opens up conversations that we wouldn't typically get at, without that opportunity. Yeah. And plus you get to see me, just saying. How can people get in touch globally? So the um, best way is to head to our website, uh, infigo.net. Um, you'll be able to reach out there, there's contact form, um, or there's an email address. And yeah, reach out, come and have a chat, come and see what our technology does and how we can help your business take things to the next level. Um, and yeah, how, how we can help you be more automated, more efficient and, and grow that revenue stream. All right then, cheers. Thanks, Deborah.